hey guys welcome to example program and in this video we will see how we can display 10 or more patterns in python programming language by using one logic so here we will start with the logic for this right angle triangle star pattern i'm going to explain how to construct the logic how to construct the program and after that we will modify the program and we will display more patterns so here if we look at this uh, pattern then uh, we have stars or you know we can use any character displayed in this right angle triangle shape and if we divide this pattern in terms of rows and columns then this is the first row second row third and fourth row and in terms of columns then we can say first column second column third column and fourth column now if we look at this pattern then the number of stars or number of columns that we have to print for a particular row is equal to row number that is if you look at the row 2 then this row number is 2 and the number of stars or the number of columns which contain a character is equal to 2 so we can say that the number of columns that we have to display for a particular row is equal to row number. If you look at this row 4, then row number is 4 and we have 4 columns. So we will be using this logic and we will construct the program to display the pattern. And once we write the program to display this pattern, we will modify it and we will display 10 or more than 10 patterns. So here, I'm going to ask the user to enter for how many rows um, he wants this pattern. So I'm going to use the input function in here and I'm going to specify the prompt as enter the number of rows and this input function returns the um, user input in string form. So we will convert that to integer form by wrapping it around this int function and we will store that in a variable and let's call it as num rows or number of rows okay now we know for how many rows we have to display this pattern so we will start displaying this pattern so as i explained before we will print this pattern in terms of rows and columns so we will use a couple of for loops so we will use a first for loop and this for loop will provide us each rows of the pattern so i'm going to call the variable as row in here and this for loop will run for a range of values and the range will start from 1 and then it will end up to number of rows so if the user wants um, the pattern for 5 rows then this for loop will run from 1 to 5 and it will display 5 rows so here I'm going to write num num rows plus one that's because with this range function the end value that we write in here is exclusive it will not be included so if you write only num rows in here then this for loop will run from one to whatever the value that num rows contains minus one so we will add this plus one in here so that the for loop will run for whatever the rows the user wants now here inside this for loop if i print out the row number if I print out the value of this row variable, then it will provide us the row number. So this row variable will get the row number and I'm going to save this program and I'm going to run this code. I'm going to say five rows and you guys can see here we have five rows. Now for each rows, we need to display the columns. So the columns that we display for a particular row is different. So we will use a for loop in here and this time this for loop is for columns and i'm going to call the variable as column and and this for loop will also run for a range of values and the range will start from one and how long this uh, for loop has to run that value will be row plus one here this row variable contains the row number and by looking at the drawing before we know that the number of columns that we have to display for a particular row is equal to row number so this for loop which we have for the columns will run up to row number of times for a particular row now here 
plus one is of course because the end value of this range is exclusive okay now after that here what we can do is we can display whatever the character that we want to display for a column so i'm going to use a print function in here and we will display star and after printing the star what we want to do what we want this print function to do we want this print function to add a space so that the pattern can look nice so i'm going to use the end value as space in here if you don't specify the end value then the default end value is a new line so every star will appear in a separate line now after displaying the columns for a particular row what we have to do is to print the next row we have to go to the next line so that's why we will use the print function in here after this in a for loop so for every row we will display whatever the columns that we have to display and then we will go to the next line here i'm using this print function and i'm not specifying any character to display and that's why it will just add a new line now if i save this program and if i run this code and if i enter the number of rows as 5 then you guys can see we have this pattern the right angle triangle star pattern displayed in here now what we can do is we can start modifying this uh, program and we can display uh, many different patterns so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, make this code that i have written as a multi line string value and i will not assign it to any variable so it will act as a comment and it and this code will not be uh, executed so the output of this code that we have written in here will not appear so it will treat it as a string value and since it is not assigned to any variable it will not be used for anything so here i'm going to copy this code and i'm going to paste it in here and now let us see how we can reverse this pattern so in our pattern uh, we have seen that in the first row we had one column printed in the second row we had two columns printed and similarly that pattern continued so in order to reverse that pattern we just have to change this um, for loop which is uh, containing the row number so what we do here is we will make this for loop start from the number of rows so previously it was starting from one and now it will start from num rows value and then this for loop will run until it contains a value um, greater than zero so here i have written zero that's because uh, zero is exclusive so it will run up to one and in this case what we want to do here is we want to decrement the value uh, with each iteration so we will specify this step as minus one now if i save this program and run this code and this time i'm going to enter five rows now you guys can see we have this pattern in reverse order so now what we can do is we can combine these two codes so we can combine the upper half and the lower half of this pattern and we can make it look like a single pattern so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this um, triple codes which will make uh, which was used for uh, you know ignoring the code and uh, now this code will run and it will uh, work now if i save this program and run this code and this time i'm going to enter the number of rows as five and now you guys can see we have this pattern but if you look at this pattern we have one problem and that is in the middle we have two rows containing exactly same number of columns or two rows containing the same number of uh, um, stars printed so here for this pattern to become um, clean we should have only one row which will contain the maximum number of columns so here in our program what we can do is we can make this um, lower half the pattern start from number of rows minus one so now if i save this program and run this code and if i enter the number of uh, rows as five now you guys can see we have this pattern in a um, proper way we have only one row which is containing maximum number of columns and then the number of columns for every row is decrementing in here so now already we have seen uh, more than three patterns now let's take a look at 
the next pattern that we can print in here. So now for the time being, I'm gonna ignore the lower half of this pattern. So I'm gonna make it a multi-line string value and I'm not gonna assign it to any um, variable. So it will act as a comment in here. Now here, instead of displaying this star, we can display any uh, numbers. For example, we can display the row number in here. So I'm gonna display the row number in here. And if I save this program and run this code, and if I enter the number of rows as five, now you guys can see we have this numbers printed in this pattern. So similarly here, if you want, we can display the column number. And if I save this program, run this code, if I enter the number of rows as five, now you guys can see we have the column number printed in this pattern. And similarly, you know, if you want, we can activate the lower half of this uh, pattern also. So I'm gonna remove this um, multi-line string value quotes and uh, I'm gonna copy this print statement. I'm gonna paste it in here. And now if I run this code, if I enter the number of rows as five, now you guys can see we have this pattern. Now again, I'm gonna eliminate this uh, lower half of the code by making it as a multi-line uh, string value. And here, now we, have, we are displaying only row value or the column value. Now if we want, we can display row and column value together. So for that purpose, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna construct a string value that I want to display in here. So here we will use a couple of placeholders. Placeholder zero, placeholder one. And then we will use the format function. And here we will provide the values for these placeholders. For example, we can provide the column value and row value. So now if I save this program and run this code, and if I enter the number of rows as five, here you guys can see we have this pattern. And similarly here, if you want, we can change the rows and column values, we can swap them. So we will display the row value first and then we will display the column value. And also if you want, we can, uh, um, you know, activate this lower half of this pattern. I'm gonna copy this print statement and I'm gonna paste it in here. And if I save this program and run this code now, and if I enter the number of rows as five, here you guys can see we have this pattern displayed. Now. I'm gonna make this as a multi-line string value again. And let's take a look at the next pattern that we can display. So here till now we are displaying the numbers and we are displaying star or any other character. Now what if we want to display the alphabetical characters? So here with alphabetical characters in Python programming, we use the ASCII values. For example, if you know the ASCII value for a character, then you can display that character. So here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna declare a variable and I'm gonna call it as ch and I'm gonna initialize this with a value of 65. 65 is the ASCII value of the alphabetical character capital Y. By using this ASCII value and by using the chr function, we can display the character associated with the ASCII value. So here, I'm gonna use only one placeholder and here uh, we will provide the value of this ch variable, but we don't want to display the number. We want the alphabetical character. So we will use the chr function and pass the ask value stored in this ch variable. Now, if I save this program and run the code, if I enter the number of rows as five, you guys can see we have the alphabetical character a displayed in uh, five different rows. But here we are displaying the one character in all the uh, rows. What if we want to change the character? For example, what we can do is we can make the, the column of a particular row start with the capital A, then we will make it continue to capital B, capital C like that. So here what we do is we will write CH plus column. Okay, we are not altering the value of this ch variable. We are just using it in this calculation. So we will add the uh, value present in this column variable to the value present in this ch variable. Now, if I save this program and run this code, and if I enter the number of rows as five, 
then you guys can see we have this pattern but here it is starting from b not a and that's because we have initialized ch with a value of 65 and here we are adding ch variables value with the column variables value and this column variables value is actually starting from one so when this chr functions to display it for the first time it is actually 66 which is the ascii value of the character capital b so what we can do is we can store 64 in here and now if i save this program and run the code if i enter the number of rows as 5 now you guys can see we have this pattern where the character is starting from a and uh, if you want we can uh, activate the lower half of this pattern i'm gonna remove that multi-line uh, string and i'm gonna copy and paste this print statement in here and if i save this program and run this code enter the number of rows i'm gonna enter five now you guys can see we have this pattern now here uh, if you want we can uh, add the row number instead of the column number to the ch variable so i'm going to change uh, the column to row in both these cases and if i save the program and run the code if i enter the number of rows as five you guys can see we have this pattern now here what if i want to display the characters in continue order so for that what i can do is i can change this code in here and here in this every row i will write ch equal to ch plus one so with every iteration of the for loop i am incrementing the uh, ch variables value i'm incrementing the ascii value so that it can uh, display the next alphabetical character now if i copy these two code and if i paste them in here and here for this chr function we need to provide what we want to display the ascii value is present in this ch variable and i'm gonna specify that in here now if i save this program and run the code enter the number of rows i'm gonna say five now you guys can see we have this pattern where the alphabetical characters are in uh, ascending order okay now let's take a look at the one last pattern for this tutorial so i'm going to comment out the code that i have written in here um, or you know i'm going to make it as the multi-line uh, string value and here uh, what if we want to display the numbers in continue order so similar to this logic i'm going to change the variable name as sum i'm going to store the value zero in here and here we will write sum equal to sum plus one and instead of using the chr we will just display the value of the sum variable so now if i save this program and run this code if i enter the number of rows as five you guys can see we have this pattern displayed but this pattern doesn't look like a right angle triangle pattern because for the numbers from one to nine they can be displayed in one character space but after this 10 we need two character space to display the numbers so we can modify our program and that is here we can make it to display the characters or the numbers in two character space so i'm gonna use 2d here and if i save the program and if i run it if i enter the number of rows as five now you guys can see these characters are displayed in two character space and whenever two character space are not needed zero is included if you don't want the zero in here just remove the zero here and if i run the code number of rows as five now you guys can see we have this pattern but um, again here a two character space is uh, used for every character but whenever uh, they are uh, not needed uh, a blank space is used so this is it guys this is how you guys can uh, have one logic and you can modify to display more than 10 patterns and this is it for this video thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video